Hi, I'm Chris Sturff. I'm uh, going to go over some of the ACT practice problems in which you had gone over on the pretest, and hopefully we can get you to start recognizing what some of these types of problems are. Uh, behind me is the first problem that you had on the pretest. Okay, it talks about the sales of a particular company. This uh, problem number one is for students who normally range from 33 to 36, so high scores on this ACT. Uh, it's a tougher problem, but I think we can work through it as, as, a, uh, as we move on. Uh, this comes from numbers, it's concepts and properties. Um, that's what these problems are for. And so uh, this co also comes from intermediate algebra. So you might recall the problem, it states, Sales for a business were $3 million more the second year, and sales for the third year were double the sales for the second year. If sales for the third year were $38 million, what were sales in millions of dollars for the first year? So sales for a business were $3 million more the second year than the first, and the sales in the third year were double the sales the second year. If sales for the third year were $38 million, what were sales in millions of dollars for the first year? Well, there's a couple of things you have to realize about this problem. Do we have three different years we talk about? We have our first year, we have our second year, and we have our third year. Okay. So, do we know the first year? Take a look at the problem. Best way to walk through it is take keep your pencil down. It says sales for a business were three million dollars more the second year. And sales for the third year were double the sales for the second year. So, and I forgot a little portion in there. Second year than the first year. More the second year than the first year should be here. Okay. And sales for the third year were double the sales for the second year. Okay. Do we know what the first year of sales was? We don't. We do know that the second year was $3 million more. The third year was double the second year. So for the first year, we're going to call that x. We can call it any variable you want, but x is the first one we want to go with. Okay. So for the second year, we know that we made $3 million more. Now, the students are going to get hung up on million. Don't worry about million. Look at it as just using three because a million is used a few times throughout the problem. We have three million here. We have uh, 38 million here. What were the sales in millions here? Well, if you look at the answers, the answers were 16, 17.5, 20.5, 22, and 35. So none of the answers had six digits behind it as far as the zeros go. But what we had, this will work out real nicely for us for this problem. Let's work it out. So our unknown is our first year. We don't know how much we made the first year. I know that if I add the first year, the second year, and the third year together, we're going to get the total profits we had, but uh, our total we have in sales. So the second year, the a sales business for a business were three million dollars more the second year. So the second year was three million dollars more. So I'm going to call that x plus 3. Remember, we're not worried that it's in the millions. We're worried that it's going to be as just the same ratio. And again, our answers don't have six zeros behind it. So the answers are in millions, but they don't have them listed as six zeros out. And that's where we're in millions of dollars is where your answer is coming from. Okay? So from there, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at, see if we can figure out the third equation. And the sales for the third year were double the sales for the second year. Sales for the third year were double. So it was whatever this year made, double. So I'm going to write it as two quantity, or in parentheses, x plus 3. Okay. So now we have three equations. If we added all up, three up, we would have some relationship for the total sales in this variable of x. But for now, we're going to do it. If sales for the third year were $38 million, so we know that our third year, we made $38 million. So if I take this equation, set it equal to 38, we can go ahead and start to solve it. Well, you remember from algebra, distribute over, or set of parentheses, so 2 times x and 2 times 3, 
So I'm going to get 2x plus 6 is equal to 38. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides because I want to isolate x, my variable. Remember, we're calling x our first year in sales, and x follows throughout the rest of the problem to show our second year sales and our third year sales. So if I subtract, I'm going to get 2x is equal to 32. Is that right? Divide each side because 2 and x are being held together by multiplication. Divide each side by 2, so we find that x is equal to 16. Okay? 16 represents our first year of sales. So we want to know, for the first year, what did we make? Did we make $16 million? One of our answers is 16. That's our answer for the problem. If we wanted to know how much we were making the second year, plug 16 in here. 16 plus 3 is 19. So they made $19 million for the third year or second year. The third year, if you plug the 16 back in, you should get 38 out. If you don't, there is an, an, an error there. So 16 plus 3 is 19. 2 times 19 is 38. And that's how you would go about this problem. If you wanted to know what the total sales for the company were, it doesn't ask for that, but if, you, if it asked for it, you would know that this would be 16, this would be 19, this would be 38. You would add all three of them up, and you would get the total sales for all three years if the question asked for it. This question only asks for the first year.